Madam Mayor. Madam Mayor. Council Mazin. Thank you. Um, in view of the fact that we've charter righted the ballot initiative, there is a way for us to hear it before the Wednesday deadline and save the Election Commission. I move that we suspend Rule 19, calling for a 48-hour noticing process, given the deadline ahead of us. Uh, you can in, the ca in cases of urgency. And I move that we hold a meeting Wednesday at 5 p.m. in order to hear that issue, which would naturally come up at that point, as long as we have fi a five-person quorum. There's, well, I think there's dispute between what the clerk is saying and what my colleague is calling for. Uh, can I we at least hear from, let us hear from the clerk, because it was hard to have the debate. Of course. Thank you. So, Madam Clerk, you were saying, yeah, what are you saying? You can waive a state law. Apparently, apparently, I, and I'm not the expert in this, but in just trying to look it up now, apparently we can move to suspend that rule. I wish the solicitor was here. We can move to suspend that rule, and then we can do so because the, the reason is emergency or urgency. And in this case, the deadline, I think, would satisfy that obligation. Uh, if we're willing to get together for an hour and just listen to the thing and pass it, as we seemed to tonight, it seemed like we were going to have six votes, that would be the right time, and that would be um, a midnight deadline to do so. Um, if we don't do it, we just give the Election Commission however many hours of work, hundreds of hours of work, maybe. Discussion. So there's uh, – Council Mazin is asking for us to waive an, a rule that our clerk says we cannot waive. Um, So what? What? Let me recommend this, and you can see see how high this flies. We could ad adopt. We could adopt Council Mazin's order, and if the solicitor says within X, if I could, if it's, I'm sorry, he just found the. Oh, he can sit down. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, what I would suggest, and it's really up to the body. We could, if we, if if the. Uh, Spirit is willing. We could vote to do this, and if the solicitor rules that it's not viable, then it's done. And if it is viable, it goes forward. So, pleasure of the of the council. So, what on the motion, Madam Mayor? Excuse me, Council Toomey. <clears throat> not that I disagree with it, but I, I do think that we have a city clerk who has made a ruling, and I think if we I think it would be insulting um, to the clerk mm -hmm. um, to question her professionalism and judgment on this matter. I really do. I, I think it's very unfair. So I've heard from Council Mazin. I've heard from Council Toomey. Is there anyone else that wants to weigh in on this? Council, Council Kelly. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. So I, I'm understanding the proposal is to waive Rule 19 special meetings? Mm -hmm. You're right. And the clerk's states that we cannot waive Rule 19. But if we were to follow, so the, the challenge is if we wait 48 hours and we don't no longer have that 90-day deadline. Um, so where is this site for waiving it? I, I'm, I'm super the uncomfortable Council with Council has, has found it somewhere. I don't uh, I, I, actually, I was aware of the vagaries, but uh, John Hawkinson oh, found, the well, found the precise wording, and it said any rule but Rule 20 can be waived by a two-thirds majority vote, and that's what the that's what the text says in some paragraph in the state law that that is apparently pulled up for us here. Madam Mayor, where's where's that text? It's in someone else's computer. It's in Rule 36A. It's not in front of us. No. So. Oh, in our rules. In our rules. 36A. Okay. I think the rules are in. Does everyone have the rules in their book? I think they do. No, they're not. Yeah, I don't see it in my book. Madam Mayor. Madam Clerk, would you please read? Rule 36A, any of the foregoing rules, with the exception of Rule 20, which is the charter right, may be suspended at any meeting by a two-thirds vote 
two-thirds yay and nay vote of the entire membership of the council, provided that suspension of the rules to take up an item of business out of order may be moved only one time per meeting by each member. This limitation does not apply to motions to suspend the rules to move reconsideration, hoping the same does not prevail. No suspension of the rules shall be required to allow consideration of ceremonial resolutions um, at, filed after the meeting agenda is closed or before resolutions are voted on at the meeting. A roll call vote for suspension of the rules to consider late policy orders shall be required to allow consideration of policy orders at the end of the regular business meeting, after the regular order of business has been concluded. Late policy orders will only be considered in an emergency or if action is required before the next regular meeting. Having You've now heard the reading by the clerk. What is the pleasure of the City Council? Uh, I, I rise to make the motion I made earlier, and I would like to put it to a vote. So uh, our colleague's interpretation is that he has the authority under our rules to waive our rules. Any, yeah. any further discussion? That's all right. There's some confusion. Madam Mayor? Council Council, yes. I don't think yes. that's Councillor Mazin's point he doesn't have the authority right. we have the authority as a body right. to with two-thirds vote right. waive anything but rule 20 that I think the logistical question is which one of us or which ones of us are actually free this coming Wednesday at 5 and I'm not so or anytime you prefer I mean frankly you could say this Wednesday at 9 a.m. or this Tuesday at 4 p.m. I just want to make sure that we pick a one-hour chunk and I'm sure we could quickly settle on that in the three and a half minutes we have <laughs> we have nine of us I'm not that sure at all we only need five though we, need uh, five. Uh, we could do a quick doodle poll um, so and I, I think I I'm happy to suspend the rules uh, and if I'm free whenever it is that we decide to meet it, I'm happy to make it. But my schedule is generally full two-plus days in advance. So finding the time that fits with four other people is going to be logistically very, very challenging. And and part of it, it's I mean, this isn't a surprise to anyone. So oh, Okay. I'm trying here. I get that. The schedule is going to be tough. Yep. Vice Mayor. So. Council Ma. Um, so just so I'm clear, I mean, this gives us the authority to waive our rule, but does this give us the authority to waive the open meeting law no. rule of the state by not having enough time to announce? I, I don't know. We, we got, <laughs> I hate to ask a member of the audience who likes to file open meeting law complaints, but he probably knows better than we do. Well, let's not. Uh, let's not. But let's, uh, let's not. not. Don't don't don't. don't do that. Um, but I I mean we can waive our rules. Ask but you to sit down. we we can waive our rules. But I I just. I would hate to call a meeting that's not legal, mm -hmm. but I could make myself available if such a meeting is <laughs> Council Ma. Called. Council Ma. That was, that was my right. Right. So, but the council needs to make a decision. So, uh, council. The, 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 my one colleague believes that we can. We can certainly do one thing, which is uh, waive the rule. The, the second part of this is it, we may be able to waive, waive the rule, but it may fly in the face of the open meeting law, 48-hour notice, which we may not be able to make. So one recommendation, I'm going to make the early recommendation. And then you might jeopardize the... Speaking the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Then you may be jeopardizing the is right to get the you know enormous amount of signatures that they may need to have yeah. we either have the hearing or we don't I, I loved your suggestion because it, if we don't have the hearing we don't, we're not jeopardizing their chance so there's a this is how you do it the, the a counselor has made a motion to suspend the rules so let's see if suspension goes for it so on suspension of the rules all those in favor say I, uh, I just yes council was looking for clarification from council Madison just said if I didn't follow what you just said. The, uh, I'm cognizant that we have a minute and a half. The the uh, clerk wanted to make sure that we don't jeopardize the petitioner's right to collect more signatures and submit them if 
Mayor Simmons' is, is idea goes through. The solicitor then says, we can't have the meeting. We don't jeopardize anything because it's the same as it is right now. Nothing happens. So I, I, I Well, there are actually two that. questions. Yeah. It's the solicitor and the open meeting law question I will put to the, to the city solicitor. No, no. Council, I'm just, me, re, you know. I'm just confused because chicken. she said the mayor suggested to through you to council the mayor suggested that, but then you went on to say something different. So are you supporting what she's saying to ask the solicitor? Okay. So is that take care of your query, Councilor? So the motion is we're going to ask the city solicitor? Before the motion is here? Council Mass is making a motion that we have a meeting on the subject of this letter that's in here, the citizen's petition. And what I offered was he can make the motion, and if the motion passes, it goes to the solicitor, and the solicitor will make a ruling as to whether we can do it or not. If we can, it, the meeting goes forward. If we can't, it dies on the vine. I, I move suspension. So on suspension, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? On Council Mazin's Initial, on Council Mazin's order to have a meeting on the citizens' petition. Let's say Wednesday at 8 a.m. On Wednesday at 8 a.m. All those in favor? We'll, we'll, we'll discuss it, that, madam. Special, that, special meeting. Special meeting that we will, on the purpose, uh, for the purpose of um, on. adopting this petition. Okay. So Council Mazin moves that we have a special meeting for the purpose of Adopting the petition. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. And the, uh, vice on mayor. the advice of the solicitor. Okay. Vice and, mayor. and we should probably ask the solicitor to look at what is the de what is the definition of an emergency. I mean, it, it was whether or not this is legal. Because I, I don't know if this qualifies as that. But she'll tell us that. Okay. Ma Madam Mayor, I'm I'm still super uncomfortable with this. I'm looking at the. Attorney General's open meeting guidance now, and I'm not seeing, I imagine it's in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing the uh, emergency notice of emergency meetings must be posted as soon as reasonably possible prior to the meeting. I, I, I don't see how this is an emergency, honestly. But there's um, a deadline. It's that's We we do that type of thing, for example. It's, the it's a deadline to keep the the election commission from having to do extra work and I, I appreciate the desire to do that and I would have supported this had it not been charter righted but I I think we're getting into the same feeling I have about late orders which is we're starting to abuse the public democratic process so I, I can't I can't support this the clocks are off we're gonna do awesome the meeting's adjourned okay <laughs> What happened? 1245. We adjourned and we went past it. Thanks for trying anyway. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a gift for you. You were speaking in Red Square at 11 a.m. I can do that. I'll be coherent at 11. Um, not Which so one? much. I'm going to sit down for a second. Good morning. <laughs> It is a, it is twelve. No, it's twelve forty. Look, look at your, look at your phone. Get, get your right time. Twelve forty-six.